Hey guys, uh, just doing a video here in the morning. A lot of stuff, things are moving uh, in the crypto space. So, um, wanted to uh, let everyone know what's going on. Uh, you know, finished all the videos that I watch in the morning. Got all my chores that I do every morning out here done. And, uh, you know, se several hours of... Uh, stuff but anyway uh bitcoin you know uh we had a little bit of a rough period with a bump a little bit of rough period another bump going up um you know seems like uh it's doing really good um and uh you know i haven't looked i'll have to look up uh bitcoin uh let me see here uh segwit on um, see where uh, um, let's see here I think I can see it here I'll have to look it up later, but uh, I'm kind of wondering if we're seeing a bump in Bitcoin because of SegWit. Um, hold on just a minute. See, there you did it yourself. You didn't need me. So I'm wondering, you know, if, uh, if we're seeing this bump because we're moving to SegWit. I'll have to check that out later and, and look at it. I'm, I'm thinking so. And uh, I'm thinking that uh, with the uh, SegWit uh, over 70% on the Litecoin network, and we see Litecoin just going to the moon, uh, I think that's really going to push it on uh, Bitcoin network, which is great. Uh, so we see that going on the Bitcoin network. You guys better get a ton of Bitcoin and hold it because... Uh, um, if it's anything like what what's going on with SegWit, um, we're going to be looking at Bitcoin in the three thousand dollar range very soon, very soon. So keep your eye on Bitcoin. Keep your eye on Litecoin for sure. Go over here to the market cap. Uh, let me. I'll just refresh it because this one's been open for about twenty or thirty minutes at least. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is going up, so um, that's one reason why the price is going up. We see a lot of money um, that is uh, going back into Bitcoin from the, uh, I believe, from the altcoins. We've got a lot of altcoins that are actually down, uh, along with a lot of money coming in that's new. Uh, the market cap, 27000 so, um, you know, a lot more people are... are uh, seeing the benefits of bitcoin it's been actually bitcoin's been quite stable um lately uh despite of the stuff that uh, we've seen the negatives that have been happening bitcoin has been uh, a real strong trooper so let's go down and uh we'll look at uh ethereum which uh you know i hold quite a bit of ethereum um ethereum's down um expect some news about ethereum coming out soon um also guys uh remember at the uh beginning of next month uh the darknet net has uh signaled acceptance of ethereum as far as payments um you know i had said this a while back on some uh on a video so uh remember that so that, i mean that's gonna bump ethereum price up so um we see it going down right now good time to buy in get some more um what i think ripple down um a lot of guys i know are holding some ripple for long term um i can't fault them in that um i just am not real interested in ripple but um right now it's down if you're looking at buying in for long term uh right now it's probably a pretty good time 14 percent uh litecoin of course is up 21 percent guys this is going to go up a lot more we're going to see I'm telling you right now, we're going to see $25 Litecoin real soon. So get you some Litecoin. Um, I bought a bunch. I've uh, been buying, <laughs> buying a bunch lately and uh, also mining it. So um, 
a note on that uh, Genesis mining contracts um, you know uh, from one hash flare is completely out of uh, or was completely out of Litecoin contracts I think they came back and they're actually more uh, it, it ends up being more expensive uh, than Genesis so um, Genesis still has them uh, get you those Litecoin contracts if you're uh, into that. They're looking quite sweet right now, especially the price goes up a lot. You're gonna see uh, you're gonna be like see Litecoin become the number one. I've been I'm loving Litecoin, so I, I'm gonna upgrade when I can uh, on Litecoin and a little bit more information on that coming up. So um, let's go back to the market cap. Uh, Dash down just a little bit. Um, I'm kind of surprised. Um, you know, they got some announcements that they're hoping that'll happen this week, um, but nothing has panned out. I, I think it was supposed to happen on Monday, and now everyone's hoping for Friday as far as uh, Dash being on uh, some exchanges, some new exchanges. Um, so, I don't know, Dash, you know, I've, I've said it before, it's the eternal pump coin. Um, you know, they. And the, and the reason why I say that is because they just they just pump a ton of uh, money into uh, advertising for Dash. Um, so it it's the eternal pump coin. I still think it's in a bubble, um, but it's the pump bubble, you know. So it may not come down. Um, I don't know. Only time will tell. So, uh, but it does look uh, quite good for. Uh, Sixty-seven dollars. I uh, can't fault anyone buying at that. Uh, it could go up, especially if we get some announcements on it. Monero is down a bit. Um, a lot of people are expecting Monero to come back up, make a rise over twenty bucks again. So uh, possibility of picking up some gains right there. Ethereum Classic. You know, I hold a lot of Ethereum Classic. Um, you know, mined it back way back uh, when uh, Ethereum. Actually, right now, it's it's actually more profitable for me to mine Ethereum Classic than Ethereum, uh, which I may switch over. I usually let that sit for a few days. If it's the most profitable for uh, so, uh, about a week, then I'll switch over my miners um, so that I'm not actually swapping it back and forth. Actually, it's down just a little bit. It was up a little bit this morning. So $2.69. It was, I think, at 270 272 earlier um, but uh, I have big hopes for Ethereum Classic um, and uh, I I think Ethereum Classic could go as high as Ethereum guys I, I see uh, no reason why it couldn't um, you know where they just hired a bunch of developers uh, to work on it uh, so we're going to be seeing in it's going to be a few months down the road, but uh, you know what? At the, around the end of the year, we're going to see some nice gains right here. A really, really nice gains. It, it'll probably slowly march up there, but yeah, we're going to see some gains. Uh, NAM, I'm not holding any NAM. Uh, don't really know a whole lot about it. Augur, I'm not holding that. Don't know a lot about it. I know some guys are holding both of these. Um, and also day trading it, so um, check out that. Made safe. A lot of people are holding that. Um, you know, uh, looks like a good coin to get into. Um, it's down today, so maybe jump on that. Uh, Gollum's been around. I remember when Gollum was back, way back in you know, and uh, it slowly marches up. Uh, it's at uh, nine point nine percent up today, at eight cents. Uh, you can get into this really cheap right now. Um, they're still, you know, still working through development. They have development stages on Gollum. Um, I'm not sure which one they're on right now, but uh, yeah, check out Gollum. You may like it. Zcash is down, and uh, so I do hold a lot of Zcash. Um, I'm also I also mine it. I got my Zcash giveaway every Friday. On Mondays, you can uh, uh, I have a video posted uh, for you to sign up for the giveaway and it's 24 hours on my Zcash mining rig uh, that I give away so it actually get quite a bit of a really nice payout guys so 
really nice payout um, on that so definitely subscribe and check that out uh, but anyway Zcash is down a little bit um, might be a good time to uh, to buy into Zcash um, it generally has some pretty Zcash has huge swings um, but they're slow slow and steady swings so um, I think what I would do is wait until you see Zcash starting to rise once you see a positive right here um, if it was me you know I'd buy in as soon as I start seeing a positive here's a positive swing and then uh, and then buy in as it goes up uh, that seems to be a good strategy for Zcash got tether um, I tether is tethered to the US dollar um, I am absolutely not interested in tether I mean if uh, this is the price it will always be it will never change guys I see no use for this coin if it's tethered to uh, fiat currency then why would I want to purchase this there's there's no use for this if you guys can tell me a use of this um, other you know uh, a lot of people say storage of value or whatever but I see no storage of value because the U US dollar is uh, decreases three percent a year um, so dogecoin that's one of my picks I, I mentioned it earlier uh, a few days back uh, I think it was about five or six maybe a week ago I mentioned dogecoin you know um, with uh, Japan accepting cryptocurrency um, that uh, as a form of payment officially in Japan so dogecoin um, is tied into that uh, in kind of a weird way and that's because of the dog they have on their their logo so um, as uh, Japanese new Japanese people get into cryptocurrency I think we're gonna see dogecoin really pop really nice so uh, you know check out dogecoin um, I am actually working on becoming a doigenaire <laughs> I want a million so um, I am well on my way uh, probably in a day or two I'll, I'll have a million of them so uh, check that out to, uh, you know it's really really cheap to get into, into because you know look look at the price I mean it's like nothing so and uh, I'm really confident we're gonna see some some really sweet gains right here and it takes you nothing to hold a million of them so uh, all right, I'm always talking about PIVX, guys. I've been telling everybody, buy PIVX, PIVX. Get into PIVX. Um, I, I, was, I was looking at PIVX. The first person that I know was uh, uh, Vincent Flores, Pro Trapper Vinso. He's, he's the one that uh, was talking about, hey, I'm day trading PIVX. It was a long time ago. And uh, that kind of sparked my interest, and I was looking into it, and and uh, I seen it moving up and uh, he was trading it he was day trading it when it was really low um, but uh, I don't day trade so I wasn't interested in day trading I am a uh, hoarder I, I buy coins and I hold for long term so that sparked my interest I started you know really looking hard at it as far as that and I love it and uh, I'm telling you Pivx is going to it's going to rock in the future. Um, it's really new. You're getting in at the ground floor, so you you know things are a little bit rough. Uh, you know the wallet's a little rough. The you know a lot of stuff is real rough. But when you get at the ground floor, you get in cheap, and then you can ride these huge gains up. So 21% today. We're going to see that it's going to pop a dollar today, guys. It's going it's going to pop a dollar. If it pops a dollar, I think it'll go up. Dollar fifty, yeah, buck fifty by the end, uh, by tomorrow evening. We'll see. I'll, you know, I'll be doing the. the I think we're gonna do the live show, or, or well, not live, but uh, we'll, I don't know if Thomas Thomas is set up, but we'll be doing the uh, crypto talk with Thomas. And I'll be on his channel. That's Thomas uh, G. So check that out. Uh, 
and uh, we're going to be definitely talking about PIVX guys so check that out anyway decred um, not much into it so it's up a little bit hey here's another one I love this one uh, Stratus guys it's down right now uh, this is a great one to get into this is like Ethereum but it's built on the C minus uh, platform you know of, of code and uh, what's cool about that is uh, you know when you're a coder uh, you know for websites and stuff you know C minus C minus is is extremely popular for uh, coding so what that means is is that a regular um, person that that codes you know on the web he can jump in this and write smart contracts on Stratus so Stratus I think is a, a great uh, opportunity I think it's gonna go up I think it's gonna um, it's gonna be real popular it's gonna be good that's what I think so I'm I'm holding some and then uh, we can go down I'm gonna start skipping now that we're we're really past so the real popular and go to stuff that just um, interest me you know um, I know that a lot of people like steam steam you know and uh, economy is real popular um, so but uh, there's a lot of stuff you can look at there's a lot of coins having some uh, some nice gains um, I don't know much about some of these uh, you should look into them you know uh, game credits uh, is been up the last couple of days that might be something to look into um, anyway so let's go down and look at what we got here because I know there's one down here that I, I a couple I wanted to talk about potcoin a uh, lot of a lot of my subs are actually uh, uh, buying into this to hold till uh, the 20th of this month they feel that there's going to be some big gains um, and uh, uh, so far it looks like their premonition is right it's been up virtually every day um, so that looks like it's probably a good good little short term hold um, you might want to jump on that and hold just a little bit get some gains sell it off so uh, virtual coin and arc has been up for several days so check those out too I just noticed that um, Arctic coin don't know nothing about it but it is up you guys can check that out the chart looks per actually pretty nice I'll have to look into that a little more um, I know some guys were buying into crown it's been going down um, you know hope you get hope no one got really wrecked on that one uh, but uh, you know hope or maybe it'll come up again hopefully it'll come up again you guys get some I, I wasn't really too when I looked at it I, I wasn't interested in crown um, so and all right guys here's the uh, last coin that I'm going to talk about Pepe cash guys you can't come on man get into Pepe you know if you're holding pot coin you should be holding some Pepe too you know they're both green <laughs> anyway uh, I'm always seeing Pepe cash up you know it went through about four or five days where it was down and now it's just up every day again I think it was like almost you know it, it's it's probably only been down about four or five days this whole month it's been it's had a red so um, check out Pepe cash um, it's really it's pretty cool man I, I just love their site um, you know check it out this right here is a for me is a definite hold get some of this guys it's up all the time so really uh, it's it's just it's just a fun coin I don't, I don't want to call it a scam coin it's I don't think it, it's not a scam coin but it's a fun its use is just to have fun you know and uh, it's, it's pretty cool actually guys pretty darn cool check it out uh, get you some Pepe I don't think you're gonna regret it alright 
go over to Genesis Mining. Um, I'm probably going to have to hold off on doing uh, upgrades and spending some crypto for a little bit. Um, and I just want to let everyone know, I, my niece is in the hospital, and uh, she just got a, she just got out of surgery, um, and she has some serious problems, and uh, they don't have no money, so I'm probably going to be having to pay for it. I'm probably going to have to sell a little bit of Bitcoin to pay for it, guys, which really sucks. Um, anyway, so um, I'll I I don't want to get too much into personal what it is um, personal life you know but uh, I'm gonna have to hold off for a little bit until um, I find out how much this is gonna end up being um, so probably not gonna be upgrading or maybe very very little upgrading and, and not spending a lot on it so anyway that's uh, that's what's going on with that uh, you know uh, got to take care of family you know what I mean and anyway that's about it um, guys uh, man look at that Bitcoin going up better be holding some Bitcoin uh, SegWit activates on that oh my god look out 3000 here we come so uh, with that with the uh, market cap of what's going on today um and everything uh keep your eyes out for the good deals uh pick them up while you can anyway i'll talk to you later